Okay, I'm in the Ubuntu now. I'm gonna bring up uh, Firefox. And I found this website. Not even quite sure what it actually does. That doesn't matter. Contego Software dot sourceforge dot net slash index underscore en1 dot html okay and um, this is uh, open it's open source is uh, software pro projects people work on for free and this is one they put out here and um, I'm going to show you the pictures down here it's obviously some kind of um, uh, MD5 or um, cipher, decipher, maybe do a little bit, a little bit of um, both items. But anyway, I want to download um, this, and I want to choose the since I'm on Ubuntu, I want to choose this download uh, Contigo version 2.0 .tar. and um, Should start shortly. If it doesn't, click this direct link. Let me click that direct link. Okay. I click save file, and I'm gonna show all downloads. Okay. This is in the downloads. Okay, so then I'm going to uh, right click on this, choose copy, and then I'll go to my home, and right click in here, and choose, um, uh, go back here, move to. Okay, and then I'll choose home. And then click select. It's been a while since I worked with Ubuntu. I'm, I'm learning. I used to teach a class in Ubuntu, and, and then we got a different person to teach it. Okay. Um, I'm going to close that. Okay, so let me bring up terminal. And, um,. Bring that up a little bit. See if I got my file. LS. There it is. Contigo. Okay. So if I do SHA1 uh, sum and then contigo.d.2.0.tar, we get this value here. Now, uh, compare that to this value right here. Compare that with what they posted, saying what it should be. This right here. And you see it, uh, you see it matches. Uh, obviously not going to compare every, every one of those. Uh, MD5, sum, and then contigo. You can do a tab to do a, a completion. Let's see what that gives us. You can see that matches our other one. Um, so again, they, that's security reasons they put those out there. And that shows you an example of how you can verify um, the results of your file. If you get this file from another source, um, they, they put this on a different website, you download it, and you check it, and it doesn't match. Well, that might be a, a trigger for you to, to wonder... Um, wonder what's going on okay let me uh, make this bigger now that we've downloaded an actual file let me do a clear okay now I'm gonna do a create a file there's different ways you can do it I think this one should have this utility on it pico pico test txt hello mom and then I'll save that. Uh, Control O, I believe. Yeah. 
file name to write, do the enter on that, and then control X to exit. Now there's uh, graphical editors on um, Ubuntu, Ubuntu that you could use. Okay, but now if I do um, my MD5 sum, and I got test.txt, and I'll redirect that to test.md5. And then I'm going to do SHA1 sum test.txt and I'll redirect that to test.sh1. Now if I um, if I view those, cat uh, just uh, prints it, uh, test.md5, then that gives you that code. And if I do a cat test.sh1, gives you that code. Again, cat just pr uh, prints the file. Like if I did cat.test.txt, you see we got hello mom. Well, let's create a different one. Uh, so I'll do pico, pico, however you say it, test2.txt, hello mom. Do a control O, write it out, control X to exit. And now if I do uh, md5 sum, test2.txt notice up here test.txt um, test was this code test2 is this code probably looks familiar doesn't it so if you create a, a file with exact same information in it, then it's going to have the same same code associated with it but let's um, let me go in test2.txt and I'll come over here. Let's see what it's doing a space at the end does. Control O, uh, enter, Control X to exit. MD5 sum uh, test2.txt. Notice it gives us a different code. So this is a way for us to tell if the file has been modified or not. Um, but anyway. Um, that's uh, how to use those two utilities on Ubuntu. Now, um, after you get these, um, I'm going to have you, uh, as one of the projects is uh, create a, a file and um, go ahead and uh, use these utilities, uh, MD5 sum and SH, SHA1 sum, and create a files. And you'll redirect it, redirecting it as the greater than, and then you'll create a file. Like that test.md5. If I do an ls, you see we now have a file called testmd5 and test sh1. Now you can email those to yourself on your Windows machine, or right from within, um, right from within Ubuntu, you can go into Firefox and you can go into Blackboard and you can submit these uh, files there. But uh, I'm going to have you create a file and I'll have you uh, turn in a file and these two uh, two files. Now if you got the uh, a Mac of some sort. Uh, you should have a way to get in the terminal there, and you should find these utilities on there also. Should is uh, <laughs> the, key, the key word. 